Friday afternoon. Weather's been nice the last couple days. Hasn't been a lot of rain. Um, so I'm going to try one of my favorite uh, native trout streams. I haven't been here since, uh, oh, probably last spring. So it's been about a year. Um, and I usually come here about, about twice a year, tops. I don't come very often. I don't like to overfish a, a native stream, but uh, so I'm going to try it today, see if I can't get into some. And um, just got a few hours here before it gets dark. I'm going to try a new rod that I have on this stream. It's a fiberglass rod. Most of the fly rods I own are um, graphite. This is a fiberglass rod made by uh, Moonlit Lunar S Glass. This is a uh, three weight, uh, six foot, eight inch. So I got it to fish smaller streams, be a little bit lighter on the hook set. These natives are so small, a lot of times you end up basically yanking them out of the water and there's nearly no fight. This stream's really tight. Um, a lot of uh, rhododendrons, so it's going to be. I'm going to be basically crawling through a lot of that to get to the fish, and so shorter pole should help. All right, let me get to the water. I'll be right back. This little stream. I mean, there's absolutely no. Trail, no path. Basically, have to walk directly up the center of the stream. Fortunately, the middle is open enough where you can cast a little bit. There he is. There he is. That's my first cast. <laughs> Come on, buddy, don't get off. Don't get off. First cast. Wow. Now that didn't take very long at all. That didn't take very long at all. I forgot to mash my barbs down. I get this guy off without hurting him here. Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, yeah, he's lightly hooked. There we go. There we go. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty. All right, come here, buddy. There you go. Oh, yeah. He's great. Oh, yeah. There he goes. Right out in the middle. Wow. First cast. Here we go. Good looking hole right here. 
Looks like it washes. Yeah, it's a good looking hole. <coughs> It'll be tough to work this hole. It's got a tree in it. Looks like maybe this dammed up too, so it's probably water above that. All right, I'm gonna set up my cameras and see if I can't get a good cast into this hole here. All right, this is gonna be hard to get back into. Without spooking everything, of course. I'm gonna try to just dip. I don't think I can actually cast at all in here. Oh, this would be a great hole if it weren't for these trees. All right, I'm dipping. Got one, got one. Work him around this tree limb. Oh, he's gonna get off. No, he hasn't yet. Oh, 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 oh. A much larger trout just tried to hit him. A much larger trout. Can you see that one? A much larger trout is right there. He just tried to come up and hit my little trout. There he goes, moving into the main body of the pool. Wow, that was a nice native trout. That was a nice native trout. Never seen one try to hit, hit another native. I mean, he is small, let's face it. He's like a, he's like a bait fish. Little, little guy. All right, that was a nice, that was a nice native down in there. Oh, I wish I could have got him on. All right, I'm gonna try again. He came up and hit the end of my fly pole when I dipped it too. So he is, uh, he's looking for something to hit. I got him. I got that big boy. Oh! Oh, he got off. Oh, that was a nice trout. Oh, I had him on. I had him on. I had him on. I was in amongst this tree and I couldn't get over it or under it. Ah. I do mash my barbs. It's easy to throw like that. I could not get him. Ah, oh, Todd. All right. Well. At least I hooked him, at least I know what he what, what he hit on. That's a good sized trout right there. Alright, I hooked that one. I pulled him out of the water. <laughs> okay, I'm getting some hits now. Uh, I'll show you what I'm using. <laughs> come here, buddy, come here. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Come here. I mash these barbs. He still, still hit it pretty hard. I'm gonna put him back. I don't want to. I don't want to overhandle him. Oh, that was a nice trout. That was probably the biggest native I've, I've hooked. So, I've switched baits. I tried that yellow one, then I tried a brown one and something else, and I put on this black one black with that again a little bit of pink wasn't working earlier now it is um, and uh, I've casted it twice and hooked two fish caught one so let's see let try again put this fly on and two casts caught two fish it's unlikely there's two trout in here that big Oh, I was wrong. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? No, 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 no. 
I'm going, I'm going in. Got him. Got him. Got him. Yes. Oh, no, no. No, I lost him. I lost him. I lost him. All right, I got him. I got him. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to fall in the water. I'm going to fall in the water. Strong fish. Strong fish. Looking for the edge of the water. That was a nice trout, a nice native, at least the biggest one I've caught in this stream. I think it was probably the same trout. I don't think there were two in there that big. It looked like a, a male, you could tell his head was long, elongated. So anyway, I'm gonna leave this hole alone. I have, I've fished it too hard and uh, head on up. There's a dam right here. There should be some good spots above this log jam. So far, great day. Got him. Oh, a little dude. Little dude. <laughs> Risky though. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Oh, there he goes. All right, before I fish this hole in front of me, I'm just going to just comment on this uh, moonlit rod. I am thrilled with this rod. It is, it, they're not very expensive. But the components are super nice. I love the, the wood burl in the real seat, double lockup ring, good cork. But the quality of the fiberglass is fantastic. And I was, I'd never had a fiberglass rod. I was worried about it uh, being overly flimsy, flimsy, but you know, for, for this, it's been perfect. I had used a uh, 10 foot, no, nine foot long, three weight in this very stream last time and it just as you can imagine very cumbersome and it was stiff and so you know every fish that i hooked every every hook set i was basically throwing the fish out of the water and onto the bank behind me this has allowed me to actually fight a little bit the hook sets are a lot more gentle i don't you know yank the fish out of the water i am thrilled anyway check them out online They've got them in all different weights and sizes. Fantastic build quality. Great, certainly for this type of fishing. that little guy. A lot of small little guys. A lot of small little guys. I mashed my barbs down. There you go. All right. I'm going to pack it in, head back to the truck. It's turned cold and uh, it's going to take me a while to walk out of here. But I uh, had a pretty good day. Caught, uh, I don't know what, five, six native. Um, caught that one big one. That was a good, that was a good trout. Pretty, pretty happy with that one and hooked another one. Could have been the same fish, but still had another big native on. And then uh, had that, that one native chase in a smaller native. I had never seen that. It makes me wonder if these uh, bigger ones would uh, do better with streamers or bigger flies. So. 
I, uh, I was looking at the map just now. I have only fished just a fraction of this, this stream. It would take me a couple days to cover all this water. So I'm gonna, it kind of gives me something to work towards later this spring. I think I'm gonna pack a lunch or two and uh, see if I can't fish more of this. I've got a feeling there's some pretty good holes in this stream somewhere. All right, till next time.